Hi, I'm Scott. I'm here in Medina Airport where I keep my Cozy Mark IV airplane. And uh, as you may recall, I got a hangar here just by chance um, because I was at Columbia Airport and that airport was really not sufficient for my airplane. The runway was uh, just not good enough for my airplane, not long enough, not in good enough condition. So when a hangar opened up here in Medina, I grabbed it. The problem with that hangar, it was a bit small. Uh, my airplane barely fit inside it. There was about six inches of space on either side of the canard when it was in the hangar and I was always really worried about uh, damaging the airplane putting it in and out of the hangar. Plus the hangar floor was old asphalt. It was pretty bumpy and not in the greatest shape. So uh, the list here for bigger hangars is uh, quite long. So I didn't think I would, I, I put myself on that list but uh, I got a call. So as a result, I now have a new hangar. And so I say goodbye to another hangar. I'm leaving this one a little better condition than when I found it. I left some extra sheeting here in case anybody wants it. All this sheeting up here, you can see on this wall and all along here, I put all that up. So somebody will benefit from that. It's uh, quite a bit cleaner than when I found it. Uh, I also cold patched the, the dips in here and added some little ramps and fixed the doors and added places to hang lights. And so I did a fair bit to this hanger and uh, I'm leaving some gifts for whoever comes here next. Got some fasteners and screws and bolts and whatnot that I don't need, so. Goodbye to hangar B4 and on to the new hangar. When I left the hangar in Columbia, I left the lights behind for the next owner. This new hangar had no lights inside it at all. So I took down the lights that I'd bought for the hangar over in B4 and installed them in this one. And I, I just used the exact same wiring that I used in the other hangar. So I just took all that down. The other thing that I had to do was you can see that tarp hanging down there that probably actually needs to be replaced. And I did get some bungee cords to string up there to support that a little bit better. You can see me using one of them here. I just put them on as an X, like a cross, and that will help support that. So it will maybe last just a little bit longer. This hanger has much more room than my old hanger. It has, the doors are in much better shape. It has a nice lock on the door. A, a door you can actually go into without having to open the hanger doors. Uh, if you, on my old hanger, it was quite small and there was only about six inches of room on either side of the canard when it was pulled in. And it really made me nervous that I was gonna damage the airplane when I pulled it in and out of the hanger. This one, no such problem. Lots of extra room. It has a nice smooth concrete floor. The uh, old hangar had a kind of ripply asphalt one. Uh, I did a little bit of a, a crack here, so I put some cold patch down. I'm gonna have to add a little bit more in there. I think I just ran out, that's all I had on hand. Uh, but I, I came out here today and I put my old lights and moved them up in here. Previous owner had put these uh, pseudo roof up there, but that's, that's nice, so I've got the lights working. And I didn't film moving in here. It took me a day and a half. That's all I had to move in here is one and a half days to move everything by myself. I didn't have a truck or anything. So that was, that was a lot of work. But I have everything in here now. It's, I was going to spend the rest of the day finishing up and cleaning up and unpacking everything. However, I just managed to slice my thumb really deeply with a knife. And I think I have to go get stitches. So that's all for today. But uh, oh, here comes the life flight helicopter. He's flying crooked. It's flying diagonally. All right, I'm back. I got back from the emergency room. They put two sutures in my thumb and uh, it's throbbing and it hurts, but I had to come back and, and finish the job. As you can see, the hanger is now put together pretty much. Uh, everything's put away. I do not have all my stuff labeled yet, but that's the next step. 
So I've got these shelves. Look at that, I have an empty shelf. I added a shelving unit because the one I had was just overflowing. So look, I have an empty shelf, not for long, but for now. And uh, all my stuff, tools, parts, everything. It's all here and uh, ready to go. So all I need now is some nice weather and we'll go flying. So I didn't actually film me moving in here because I, like I said, I only had a day and a half to do it. And if I had taken the time to actually film the process, I wouldn't have got it done. But uh, I'm really pleased with this. This is the hangar that I think I'll be in for a long time. Uh, I have no complaints really. It's, it's in great shape. Nice airport, nice hangar, great airplane. Now I just gotta get everything unpacked and working and uh, we'll be set to go. That's it for this short video. I just thought I'd, I'd uh, pass along the news uh, it, I, I kind of been holding off on, on posting a video about this, but uh, I'm really happy about it. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, leave them in the comments section below. And of course, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Really helps me out when you do that. Thanks for watching.